Right ah, there. there's a cue this morning by Dermot for a goodbye kiss. Kick me because out. after <laughs> oh stop. After more than five years, Dermot's saying goodbye to us today. He's off to pastures new. This is his very last show. It is. Mm, gulp. Gulp. So uh, we're going to really miss you and we've put together some of your best bits. Avert your eyes. I know you oh. hate this sort of thing, but we like it. Let's okay. have a look. I remember watching the first ever Breakfast Time, as then was back in about 1983, with uh, Frank Boff and Selena Scott. I thought, what a great programme. Yeah, I really like this. But now to find myself fronting it, I think it is absolutely marvellous. I promise you I will get you through it. You will not mess up. You will not make mistakes. You will be on the right camera oh, yeah, at all just to minimise them. Magic knickers. Pass them over, pass them over. Okay, have Ooh. a stretch of that and a feel. We, you can right, okay. get into that. That is a small. I could get into that. No, not you. But... <laughs> Good morning from Singapore, where the winner of the race to host the 2012 Olympics will soon be revealed. I'm Dermot Murnahan with a special edition of Breakfast. Also, Auntie and the Queen, as Her Majesty visits Broadcasting House. That's Declan Curry. We'll be talking about Lego in a bit. Uh, we look back at the Queen's sometimes cool relationship with the BBC. Good morning from Vatican City in Rome, where up to two million people are expected to arrive over the next few days to pay their last respects to Pope John Paul II. I'm Dermot Murnahan. <laughs> if only I'd learned to foxtrot, I could escape this living hell along with my precious Natasha. <laughs> I thought Moira had it. She, went, yeah, yeah. she, left, she left that hotel. She had the award in one hand, a bottle of champagne in the other, and <laughs> off into the night. Last I saw of her in there, she I took it home. You, gave, you gave Natasha two kisses, I only got one. <laughs> It'll cost you, though. Oh, so, of course, anything. What? Yeah, a kiss. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> I'll make someone feel special. I'll give them a hug. Stop moving away, Louise. I'm waiting. Just, you <laughs> know. Oh, oh, nearly. <laughs> I can't believe it. Hello and welcome to Breakfast with me, Dermot Murnahan, here in Washington. We've got a poll this morning in today's Independent, which is saying, and very good morning to you, I should say, which is... Thank you. <laughs> which, <laughs> <laughs> now you're about to ruin it, are you? <laughs> Hello, this is a special edition of Breakfast with me, Dermot Murnahan, live in the Polish capital, Warsaw. Now for the real thing, the Olympic events solo. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. It's easy, this, you know. <laughs> Gordon Brown, Prime Minister, thank you very much indeed for sparing your very valuable time. It's a pleasure to be here. Hope you invite me back. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you're welcome any time. Thank, thank you very you. much. Oh. What have I done? Oh, 470 litres of tea, that must I be I know, <laughs> who worked that out in a thousand programmes? Yeah. What I must say is what a great time I've had. You know, it's been fantastic working with all the the team front of camera, you know, it's a real family feel here. I, I can say in all honesty, you're the best, friendliest people I've ever, ever worked with in my entire career. And that's just front of camera, behind the camera, the people that you at home can't see. They're the ones that make this programme. I know it's often said that they work on holy hours. They make a fantastic programme, the most best-watched programme on British breakfast television. They're fantastic. They've sustained me through it. They've sent me to all those places and looked after me. <laughs> Take over, Asha. <laughs> Coming up later in the programme, 